Metallica's new whiskey bottle is here. Let's turn this up to 11. <laughs> what is this crap? Yeah, I think it's a whiskey dude guy. <laughs> So this guy just takes like pictures of whiskey. <laughs> what a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, dumbass. <laughs> Whiskey rules. <laughs> yeah. Whiskey does rule. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, welcome back to all the subscribers. It's a new year. Happy 2019. And if you're new to the channel, my name's Antonio. In this channel, I'm going to review whiskeys from all over the world. I'll give you my thoughts on it. I'll add a touch of water just to see if it opens up with that. And if that's something you like to watch, go ahead and hit that subscribe button with the bell notification so you can stick around for more videos. Let's move on with this review. Blacken came out in late of 2018 and it was a collaboration between Metallica and the late master distiller Dave Pickerel. He was widely known for being the master distiller for Maker's Mark and he was also behind the Whistle Pick Rye Whiskey. This is a blend of different bourbons, ryes, American whiskeys that were all hand selected by Dave and finished in black brandy cast. This is the process where they dump all the whiskey into a different barrel so it can pick up other flavors from whatever was in that cast before, in this case the black brandy. So once it's dumped into the X brandy casks, they use a sonic enhancement system that they call Black Noise, where they blast the Metallica music at the cask in order to manipulate the whiskey inside and that way it can pick up some of those extra woody flavors. Basically they're playing that Metallica music through subwoofers in order to manipulate that whiskey. Remember that scene in Jurassic Park where the kid sees that water ripple as the T-Rex gets closer? Well that's what I imagine is happening inside the barrel, but more badass. Which is why at the bottom of the bottle it says Remastered. Each bottle has a batch number on the bottleneck and it refers to the playlist that was chosen for the Black Noise. The one I got is batch number 89 and it was the playlist chosen by none other than the bass player Robert Trujillo. With the first song on there being Damage Inc. Yeah. You can see all the different playlists used for every single batch. I'll put it in the description below if you guys want to check it out. And maybe you're looking for a specific bottle. Or maybe you're just trying to avoid the one that Lars picked. Oh. Alright, let's start with the review. I can't play if my life depended on it. I bought it when I was 21. And I never got around to learning it, but it came in handy today. First off, this cork in here is synthetic, but it's really tight. To put it back on, it's just this tight. So that's pretty good. I'd say the color in this is a really nice honey golden color. Really nice. Let's see what we get on the nose. So, first thing I get, it's a lot of nuttiness. There's oak, lots of oak. Do get some citrus, like an orange zest kind of citrusy note. And some caramel. The weird thing is when I opened this the first time with my neighbor, the guy that did Beavis on the intro, I got coconut, but now I'm not getting any coconut at all. Which is disappointing because, you know, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you'll know that I love coconut notes in my whiskey. We'll see, maybe it'll come back once it goes down a little bit more. Or maybe it's gone forever. Alright, let's see what we get on the palate. Happy 2019. Cheers. First thing I get is some spiciness. More like a cinnamon kind of spice get oak, get that nuttiness, get some char. There's something in the back that reminds me of uh, like cherry cough drops. It's pretty good. It's actually pretty awesome. The finish is, I'd say, somewhere around the medium to long, somewhere in between there. Finishes with a creamy mouthfeel, wood char and some cherry oak notes in the back. All right, let's add a little bit of water to this and see what happens. This is only 90 proof, so I won't add too much water to it. Just one drop. All right, it's been a few minutes. Let's see what we get on the nose with some water. Wow, that toned down the nuttiness note and it brought out some honey. 
It's either a honey or like butterscotch, one of those two. But it's a lot sweeter on the nose. And I also get some like pipe tobacco. When I used to work at Walgreens when I was in high school and we'd get shipments in and you open up the tote that contained the tobacco. That's what it reminded me of. Alright, onto the palate with some water. Still get that cinnamon, get that oak flavor. A bit tangy on the edges of your mouth or your tongue. Nice silky mouthfeel. It's pretty good. So that finish is still medium to long, so that's pretty good. Finishes with some oak. A little bit of like a minty flavor. First tasted this, like I said, when I did the intro with my neighbor, Chris, and uh, I have to say, out of all the whiskeys that I tried in 2018, this is one of the ones that stood out the most, and I'd say it was one of the best tasting ones that I've tried. That finish is still lingering, I'm still tasting some of that char. It's well balanced, everything complements each other nicely. At 90 proof, it's really easy sipping. You don't really have to add water, but if you want it to get sweeter, one drop will do it. If you like everything that I described, $50 is well worth the price. Go ahead and pick one up. All right, guys, that's it for the review for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, give me a thumbs up. If you liked it, share it with your friends. Don't forget to drop me a comment below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now with the bell notification so you can stick around for more videos just like this. So I'd like to dedicate this whiskey to our pet bunny, Fiona. She passed away on New Year's Day, unfortunately. It was the same day that I was tasting this whiskey here when we found out she had left us. And for that, every time I drink this whiskey, I'm going to remember our cute little bunny. May she rest in peace and run with all the other bunnies in bunny heaven. Cheers, guys. See you in the next video.